Hey guys, it's Akinia here. Welcome back to Don't Starve Shipwrecked. Kinda. It's should be Don't Starve Shipwrecked, but then we went on the Seaworthy in the last episode. Well, I think it was the last episode. Yeah, whatever. We went on the Seaworthy and we ended up back in the normal game mode, which was a little bit strange. I don't really know why that happened, but that's what happened, so whatever, we're gonna get over it. Um it is currently just about to be night time. Um, this is going to be a little bit different than all of the other videos I've done because I filmed this episode of the game and I went to record, um, to edit it a little bit later after I filmed it and none of my connections to my computer were working which meant that the internet wasn't working and my microphone wasn't working. So when I went on to edit it, there was no sound except for like game sound which you can hear normally so I was like okay what am I gonna do do I want to film it again well I can't film it again um so my options were just upload it without sound or do a little bit of a voiceover which is what I decided to do obviously so this is gonna be a little bit weird um sorry if this is really not a good way to do this it probably isn't um but I figured this is probably the best for everybody watching so I'm really sorry if you hate it. Um, I'm currently trying to go around and collect some charcoal because I burnt down in the entire forest again. Whoopsie daisies. <laughs> and I'm burning more things. Again, I am absolutely terrible at not burning things down. This is why the fire starter is like my best friend in this game because the fire starter is probably as much as a pyromaniac as I am. Though I don't actually start fires. I don't know. I'm weird. Anyway, um, so I'm going around and I'm picking up some charcoal and stuff like that because I figure I can use the charcoal for things like, I don't know, fuel and stuff like that. Um, which is pretty good use for charcoal if I do say so myself. Um, I didn't notice when I was actually playing the game but if you look at the icons at the side you can see that the book icon is actually open and ready to use. So there must have been something that I had enough stuff. I think it was the book about... Um, the care of plants and animals and stuff which is pretty cool but I didn't notice that when I was doing this game so whoopsie daisies um so yeah that's pretty much all I'm doing right now I'm trying to work out what I want to do next so I was considering uh, maybe building like a chest or something like that and I think I was looking for um something in particular and I can't remember what I was looking for because that was like a whole like 30 minutes ago which is like way too long ago <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. This is going to be terrible. I hope you guys don't mind this so bad. Anyway, um, this is probably when I started actually recording because I waited until night time before I started recording and I would have been talking <laughs> right now and you would have heard some fabulous things. Probably. Probably not. Anyway, um, so I'm probably going to make this a little bit more of a story time type thing rather than talking you through what I'm doing because I can't remember what I'm doing um, most of the time. So I'll kind of talk you through a little bit of what I'm doing but also uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit about what I've been doing lately which is it's been a pretty busy couple of weeks so um, it's coming up to my holidays which is awesome and we've had quite a few things so I had first thing was I got really quite sick which I think you guys probably noticed because I was not feeling the greatest kind of my videos kind of were not the greatest um, and they weren't really spread out all that much which was not very good so I was really quite sick and I took a day off and I got a bit better which was really good but like as soon as I got better I think the next day after that I got like really really bad pain like kind of shooting excruciating pain through my head and I was like what is this and I was like the first thought I had was oh my goodness I've got like a brain tumor which is a silly thought to have but I don't know pain first thought I get brain tumor not really how it works but you know it doesn't really matter um so I was like okay this is not good what do I do and so I was like okay okay we're all good we'll just it's just a migraine or something I'll just have some Panadol it'll be fine um oh, by the way we're gonna go through the wormhole because I was like I had no idea what I'm doing next so I was like let's just jump through a wormhole uh yeah so back to the story so I thought I had a brain tumor because I was being silly and then I was like no that's not possible it's got to be something reasonable um so the next thing I, I called my mum and I was like, Mum, my head hurts, I've got shooting pain. Ooh, we've got some demon dogs. Awesome. That's not what I said to my mum, by the way, because that would have been pretty weird. Um, 
so I guess we'll just go back to the game for a second. Um, I'm running around with the demon dogs trying to find like spiders or snakes or anything because I, I saw them as I was going through the wormhole um, just kind of at the top of the screen and it was really bad timing because I know where there's spiders up near where I was but I didn't know where there were spiders here so I'm travelling down the road trying to find something that could possibly kill this demon dog because I think there was a pig that got the first one. Um, so we're just running trying to find something and I was like okay the tentacles maybe the tentacles can get it and then the tentacles got me because I was being silly and then I found the road and I was like okay well I can run faster on the road let's follow the road because I know that there's a ton of pigs at the end so maybe we'll follow the road and we'll find the pigs was kind of my thinking um, which is like the we go faster on the road which is good but I think the dude ham also goes faster on the road as well which is not good um, yeah, so I kind of got off the road and was just running again and I was like, okay, well maybe the pigs are down here somewhere but maybe there's some spiders in the trees somewhere. Um, so I'm trying to follow the road but also find spiders, which there are spiders here. So then I was like, okay, um, ouch. <laughs> and then I tried to get the spiders to attack him but then he kept attacking me and it wasn't really working and I was like, why is this not working? Um, so then I went over the spiders again and this time, or the third time around I think, he attacks the spiders. Well that time he just ran away but I think he comes back, yeah. And then he attacks the spiders. So then the spiders will kill him and everything will be fine. Um, and then it was getting to be night time so I think I decided to go down to my campfire that's down here and deal some food and stuff like that. Okay, so back to my story. <laughs> Sorry, I'm all over the place. Hopefully you guys don't mind too much. Um, yeah, so I called my mum and I was like, Mum, I've got this shooting pain in my head. What is happening? And she was like, it's probably a tooth problem. And I was like, okay, teeth. That's not good. Um, and it was a Saturday. So generally there's n there wasn't like any dentists in my area really open. And I have a lot of trouble with dentists that aren't like my own dentist. Like my own dentist is the only dentist that I've really found that's not caused like extra pain or taken like hours or like something like that I really don't like dentists I hate the dentist so I like going to my dentist and only my dentist so Saturday it wasn't too bad and I was like okay I'll be fine I'll just I'll take some more pills and um, it'll all be good just some Panadol and ibuprofen and stuff or um, yeah paracetamol and ibuprofen and it was okay I was like getting worse throughout the night and I called mum again I was like mum what should I do it's getting worse and she said okay um it's probably going to be some sort of infection maybe you should go to the doctor so I was like okay so I went to the doctor on Sunday morning I got an appointment at the doctor's and I was like okay this will be fine I'll be able to fix it they'll give me something that will make it better um and I got prescribed antibiotics which turned out okay um mostly okay so he well, speak. He prescribed me the antibiotics, which actually worked quite well, but not on the Sunday. Um, and he also said that I should get a slightly stronger pain medication. So I did that. Um, the pain medication stopped it from being like an excruciating, shooting, like electrical type pain. Um, and it kind of just went to like a less intense pain. Um, and then that was fine. It The pain kind of got a little bit better. And then on a Monday morning I took the day off work again so that's two days that I had to take off work in like two work days which sucked and they were both for different reasons which also sucked um but yeah so I took that day off and I went to the dentist I got an emergency appointment and I went in he was like okay it looks like it's a root canal we're gonna have to do a root canal and I was like Ugh, seriously and so we ended up having to do a root canal which you know not fun um so he injected like a ton of the injecty stuff to get you out of pain and it was like so amazing to not have any pain in like that side of my face anymore because it had just been like three days or two and a half days of like a lot of pain and i hated it um so yeah i did that that was saturday sunday um and monday and then i felt a lot better after that like when the numbing wore off I still had like an aching pain on the side of my mouth like where the tooth was but it was nothing like it was before so it was I had that aching pain for two or three more days probably until the weekend again and then the next weekend it felt a lot better which was really good I really appreciated that it felt better 
Um, so that was like two weeks ago. That was the excruciating pain and it was like the worst um, feeling ever. Uh, so right now um, I'm trying to decide um, in this episode here. Sorry, back to the pain. Oh, again, all over the place. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm trying to decide where I want to go because I know that to get the ice box, which is probably really important for the librarian, I need to find the clockwork people or the gear people or whatever they're called. So I was trying to decide where is the best place to find those. And I was thinking, okay, well, let's go exploring. We can explore some different areas. And I also want to find Chester because I really miss Chester. Chester's awesome. And um, so I was thinking, okay, we'll just wait and then we can go and explore. Um, but it turns out it's actually the full moon, so I can go and explore anyway, which is super duper nice. Um, so I was trying to work out, can I actually fill up these bottles with fireflies? The answer to that is no, you cannot. So I was like, well, what's the point of having these? So I just dropped them randomly at the side of the path. Um, and then I was like, okay, so where am I going to go now? I don't know. So I'm running down to the bottom and I th think I thought that I could go all the way to the end. Um, of this path and then I decided no let's actually not do that and I currently have no idea what I'm doing why am I running around in circles <laughs> who knows so I think I'm going to the bottom and trying to kind of work my way around that area just to make sure that I'm getting everything um, there were some eel flowers and stuff like that and then I saw this huge giant green mushroom there and I was like what is that? Why is there a huge giant green mushroom just in the middle of this random forest? Because it was a little bit weird. And then there's another one that's coming around the corner as well. So there's multiples of them. And then there's evil flowers. So there must be some sort of evil something there. And I'm like, is that green mushroom going to attack me? Probably. And why is it attacking me? I don't know. Um, so <laughs> I got a little bit weird when I was running past that. So I was just deciding, let's just go like all the way around the bottom of this area, see if we can find anything, see where it goes, because it might be something really cool at the bottom. Doubtful. Um, and there's lots of spider's nests, so I decided let's not run over the spider's nest because that's probably not the best idea, which, you know, it really wasn't. Um, and I'm picking up a few flowers at the moment uh, and also eating them apparently because I was trying to increase my... Um, increase my insanity no increase my sanity levels because they were a bit low um but yeah that's what i'm doing at the moment so back to my story of terrible things that have been happening lately so that weekend happens everything's fine um and it's a pretty good week after that and then they forecast on the um they forecast in the bureau bureau of meteorology forecast that there's going to be a huge cyclone that is going to hit um, a town called Townsville which is um, quite a bit uh, more north than where I live but still relatively close in the grand scheme of things I guess so we were all a bit like okay um, there's going to be some sort of cyclone what is this going to mean and everyone was like okay this is not good um, so that came over on Tuesday of this past week um, so the cyclone hits and it's like a huge thing for areas up there um, but once the cyclone hit the land it started traveling like directly south um, so it got the first initial place that was hit was Townsville and that sort of emerald area which you guys probably don't know where that is and it just kind of traveled all the way south down like the side of Australia um, and so Wednesday we were all fine it was still traveling up there but there was a lot of flash flooding in different areas and it caused a lot of problems um, and then on Thursday it kind of hit my area so um, I woke up at a normal time 4 30 in the morning which terrible time to wake up I hate it absolutely hate waking up at 4 30 in the morning um, but yeah I woke up I got ready to go to work and I started driving to work and the rain was so bad it was like almost too unsafe to actually drive and I was like okay this sucks um, I got to work at 7 which is when I usually get to work and we were kind of there was a few of us at work already just sitting around like oh I wonder how many people are gonna show up today you know stuff like that um, and about 7 30 they came over the um, heads um, bosses I guess you call them um, 
came up on the loudspeaker saying it was cancelled, everyone had to go home and that we would have the day off today and I was like okay yes please. Uh, so I drove home, it was better driving home than it was driving there which was a little bit weird but I think the rain was kind of blowing in the other direction which helped so I drove home and I got home at like eight o'clock and I was like okay let's go back to bed. So I spent most of the day kind of just sleeping and snoozing I probably should have been doing work, but eh, felt too lazy to do that. Um, and then during the day, it got a lot worse. So it was not great in the morning. And then it kind of peaked and like flattened down. So it got really bad and then it got okay again. Um, and I'm just going around collecting a little bit of ice, but it's not much. So yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be switching. Uh, yeah, so around about 3 p.m., um, it got really, really windy, it got a little bit stormy, and it was like intense rain. So um, my area wasn't too bad. Um, I know my mum lives further up the coast and she got a um, huge storm, so they lost their power for like 24 hours, but that was the worst thing that happened to her, so that was okay. And then um, probably about eight or nine o'clock the winds in my area got really huge and it started like really blowing the trees and I was really worried that the tree outside my house was going to fall over thank goodness it didn't but I was driving around the day later and there were a lot of trees kind of just over the road um, in people's lawns um, there was a lot of areas around that place that flooded a lot uh, especially in Brisbane because Brisbane's actually in a flood area so there was a lot of areas in Brisbane and a lot of my friends in Brisbane were really worried that they were going to get flooded. Uh, but as of right now, everyone I know is pretty okay. The worst that we got was the loss of power um, and there was a lot of wind and rain. And um, yeah, Thursday afternoon, I got an email from work saying, okay, you don't need to come in tomorrow either. And I was like, yes, please. So I also got Friday off, which was really, really nice. Um, so I had like a four day weekend, which was fabulous. Um, and then on, so that was Friday. No, that was Thursday. Uh, Friday morning, woke up. It was beautiful blue skies. Everything was lovely. Like the grass, um, the trees were been blown down and um, there were sticks and all over the place and leaves everywhere and stuff like that. But it was like nice and sunny and everything was kind of a lot better. Um, but my mum who lost her power didn't get her, like she lost her power at six o'clock on Thursday. She didn't get her power back until 4 p.m. on Saturday. No, 4 p.m. on Friday. So she was not all that happy with that. But the um, company that controls all the power in Australia had a lot to deal with on that day so I am not at all surprised that it took them a long time which yeah <laughs> it took them a long time but that's fine uh, yeah so Friday everything was back to normal it was beautiful and dry um, the air was not too hot because we've been having a lot of hot days lately like we've gone through it's been really weird. The weather in Australia has been really weird lately. Um, we've gone through like, specifically in Queensland, we did a heat wave and then it was like really cool and nice for a little bit and then it was a heat wave again and it was like kind of relatively okay temperatures and then it was a heat wave again and then it was like super duper humid for ages for like oh, two weeks or something. It was like 90% humidity but it didn't rain and it was like the most annoying thing ever because anyone who's ever lived in a humid environment knows that humidity is so much worse than heat like if it is 20 degrees which is i don't know 60 degrees fahrenheit or something and it's not humid it's lovely if it's 20 degrees and it's humid it feels worse than if it's like 50 degrees or like 110 degrees outside because just the humidity just makes you like sweat and it's all gross and it's it's not good humidity sucks so i've been humid for ages and hot for ages and it just like it went through these ups and downs and it was like the most annoying thing it was like can you just choose a temperature and stay at that temperature that would be great but uh it seems to have gone better now so i think since the cyclone came through there's still a lot of moisture in the air but it's raining a lot so it's kind of getting a little bit better um, and it's cooled down a lot which is great it means that it's now almost winter 
and I am super excited. I love winter. Winter is like my favorite season ever because winter is like the cold season. I really like the cold. I should move to like England or somewhere where it's always cold. I don't know. Uh, so Friday was really good. Um, Friday night I went to an engagement party, which was fun. Um, and then what's today? Today is Monday. So uh, yesterday I had brunch with my family, which was good. They all came down um, this way to my house and we had a beautiful brunch, though it took ages to cook. Um, so that's what we did on yesterday. And then today I am just planning to do a lot of filming and editing because I have um, a few videos that I want to film and edit today so that I am a little bit behind because I don't want to have to have like an entire week of one video again because I think that like, it really annoyed me that I had to do that but it was either that or not putting up videos at all for that week because the only videos I had those planet base videos pre-filmed because like I just sat there and I was like I'm gonna finish it so I'm gonna take one episode or two episodes and then it took like six episodes and I was like okay well whatever <laughs> so they were all filmed and ed um, edited already so I was like okay well I either don't have any videos because I'm in pain and I can't film anything and I can't talk and it's not good or I just put these up so that's why there was a whole week of planet-based videos if you're wondering and aren't following me on Twitter um, yeah, so that's, you're completely up to date with me as of right now. Um, yeah, so I guess back to the game. I've just been walking around collecting stuff, trying to find important things. I haven't really found what I was looking for. I was looking for the clockwork people for ages. Um, yeah, I hope I didn't bore you too much. Yeah, I came across this area. This area is really weird because it's got... Um, like three different biomes in one area so it's got like the rocky biome and then the, the sandy kind of I don't know sandy rock biome I don't know sandy dirt and um, then it's got like the grassy biome and then the foresty biome like all in the same little tiny area and it's really weird and it's got that like all the way through this area so it's like the biome itself is multiple biomes if that makes any sense and I, I kind of came across this area and I was like okay maybe this is the type of area that I would find the clockwork people because it's got roads all over the place it's got like like different sections and it's got lots of gold rocks around it and stuff and it it really really confused me because I'm like this feels like it should be the place that I could find these clockwork people and I got a ton of gold here which is really good because I wanted to make um, more gold stuff because I didn't have a gold axe I only had a gold pick at the moment and the gold stuff is so much better so that's what I was searching for gold and I was searching for rocks and I was searching for um, the clockwork people um, but yeah this area here it's like a hole that has like three different biomes around it it's got a road that should be going through it and it's got lots of gold around it and it just it feels like the kind of place that you would find a clockwork person right but no like there was nothing there it's just like a random thing that exists and I'm like why does this exist what is the purpose of this it makes no sense to me but like yeah it's super weird I don't know I thought that was strange I was like is there really not something there and then there's another one over here that's like more of the multiple biome things in a shape it's like okay okay what is happening why is it like this but then now that I think about it maybe like as it gets like winter or summer or something there's something that goes there I guess that could make sense. But I don't know what would go there. Hmm. Yeah, but I was trying to be very careful because my, my sanity kept going down. And I couldn't quite work out why the san my sanity kept going down. Because it was like I had the hat on and everything was going good. And I think um, I determined towards the end that I think it... So I think that um, the seeds were kind of spoiling a little bit so you could see I had like 21 seeds or something and their kind of level of goodness, I don't know, um, was going down and I think that if you've got food that is spoiling in your inventory or in your chest or anything, she gets very upset and she loses insanity, no she loses sanity as the food starts to go off that's in your inventory. So I think with her in particular, it's very important that you don't pick up too much food and you don't have too much food around you because I think that's what it was. But I'm not entirely certain. Um, so right now, I'm trying to find my way back 
to my campsite because it's getting quite dark. Um, I didn't find what I wanted to and I'm, I'm still coming across these weird biomes that I'm like, I don't know what this is, I don't know why I'm here and I don't know why this is here. But actually, you know what, maybe this was the area that became the penguin ice skating ring type thing. I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, so I came across this little marble section and I was like, okay, yeah, I'll take a free spear. And I looked and I was like, do I really want a springy thingy and a normal? And I was like, yeah, no, not really. Uh, so I just left that and I was like, oh, no, I'm good. And I'm, I'm still trying to find my way back to the campsite. I've got like half of the night left and I was a bit worried and I'm like, okay, no, how do I get back? There is a river here. Since when has there been a river here? And I got a little bit confused. Um, I eventually find my, found my way, but then this section here as well, I was like, okay, this is it, I can just go down from here, everything will be fine. Um, and then I thought I saw something, and I ran back, and it turns out the thing I just thought I saw was just a rock. So, nope, that was just being, <laughs> that was me being silly, which, you know, happens fairly frequently. Um, and again, my insanity was going down, so I think as it got darker, the insanity was going down as well. Uh, or sanity. I keep saying insanity, but it was the sanity that was going down. Um, I got to this section, I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> I can't get back. We are going to get stuck. It is going to be dark and I am doomed. So I went, okay, let's go this way. And then I got to this point, I was like, oh, okay, I can't actually go this way. Let's go back the other way. And so then we went back this way. And I was at this point a little bit freaked out. I was like, okay, this is not good. Uh, this is really not good. I'm not going to make it. Let's make it torch just in case and I was like okay let's not actually make a torch because that I have to use up the torch materials and there's not much so I should make it and I was running through and I'm like ooh this looks like a good place to be and I was like ooh grass let's take some grass on the way it's about to get dark and we're about to die from demon attacks but I will pick up some grass anyway and then I was like um maybe we shouldn't because we actually do have to get home before it gets dark uh, so then I was like okay let's find home um, so we found home pretty easily, we weren't actually that far away, uh, but we didn't have a fire because we didn't have a campfire, not a fire pit, so I decided let's put a fire pit, and everything was good. So I decided let's dig up the tree stumps that we've been, um, or I was trying to work out how to dig up the tree stumps, and it wasn't that hard because I wanted a clearer area, so I got a hold of those. And that was pretty much all I did for the episode. Um, when I was talking about what we we're going to do the next episode, which I don't actually remember what we were talking about, um, the plan was to make oh, I made a group farm too. I forgot about that. Um, so I put in one in group farm, and I picked up a seed. I put the seed in as well. So that was pretty much all I did in that episode. I'm sorry if there was something that I forgot that I needed to talk about when I was going through. I'm sorry that the episode was a bit of a weird one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway. <laughs> but we'll do things, but I'll try not to make that happen again in the future. Uh, yeah, so I guess that is going to be pretty much it for the episode. Um, I'm going to go to chest as well because we're stuck with um, I put the papers in so I really didn't need those and it was daytime already so the night doesn't actually last all that long but the daytime also doesn't last all that long so it's weird. Anyway, yeah, um, that's the end for this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Hopefully the next episode goes a little bit better. Um, I am hopeful but not all that optimistic about it. We've had a lot of problems lately. And yeah, other than that, uh, if you liked this video, please let me know down below. Um, comment in the comment section or click the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. That way you get notified of every single video that I upload. So post it on Instagram. So don't let that throw you off. And yeah, as you can see, you guys have a super duper lovely day. Cause I'm not